Hello, how to solve this exponential problem? t power t equals t power 4. We are solving for all values of t that satisfies this equation. So, what we are going to do is, if you consider this identity, you have a power b, and this equals a power c. Now, since the pieces are the same, you can equate this exponent. So, you have b equals c. Now, if you apply that same identity right here, what you are going to get will be t equals 4 because the basis are the same. So you now compare the exponents. Now, that's one way of solving it. If you want to solve for the other values of t because it is clear that this particular exponential equation has more than one solution. So this is just one of the solutions. If you want to get all the solutions, this is how you are going to do it. So you have your t power t, and this equals t to the power of 4. So you make use of natural log. You have your natural log of t power t, and this equals the natural log of t to the power of 4. Now, remember, if you apply this property of log, if you have logarithm of a to the power of p, this equals b times log a. That means the b here will come behind this log. So this property here is also applied to natural log. That means the t here at the exponent will come behind this natural log. And the 4 here will come behind this natural log. So this particular equation becomes you have t times natural log of t, and this equals 4 times natural log of t. Now, what you can do is just to multiply this out. You have t times natural log of t. This is t ln t, and this equals 4 ln t. Now, what you are going to do next will be, you can solve this in two different ways. So, the first method will be for you to divide each part of this equation by ln t. So, what you are going to do, the first method is just for you to divide this. So, let's recopy this again. Or you divide this by lnt and also divide it, this by lnt. So, this cancel this and this cancel this. What you are going to have left is just t and this equals a 4. Now, if you observe, this also gives you the same solution that we had earlier on, which is this t equals 4. Now, you can also solve this using another way in which let's just multiply this out. You have t ln t and this equals this is 4 ln t. So what you are going to do will be to move this over here. It becomes minus since it is positive here. So you are going to have t ln t minus 4 ln t and this equals 0. So the next step you are going to take will be to factor out this lnt because you have it here you have it here you can just factor it out then you divide this by this lnt so what you are going to have is just t you have your t then you bring the minus if you divide this by lnt you have four left you have four and this equals zero so if you observe now you are going to equate each of these to zero you have lnt equals zero and you have this equals zero so you have ln t equals 0 or t minus 4 equals 0. So we are going to solve these individual equations to find the other values of t. Now, for you to solve this, you need to eliminate this ln t. And for you to achieve that, you are going to make use of e. So you have e to the power of ln t, and this equals e to the power of 0. So what happens here is that the e raised to the power of ln will cancel this out. So you are going to be left with t. So you have t equals e power 0. And you, and it's obvious that any alphabet or number raised to the power of 0, a section of 0 itself is 1. So you have t equals 1. Now, this is another solution to this particular problem. Remember, we still have this other equation, which is t minus 4. This one we have solved it already. So what you are going to do is just to move this negative 4 over here. And you have t equals 4. So we can say that we have gotten two different solutions using this method. This is our T1. 
and this is T2. So we have gotten two solutions right now. Now, this actually is one way of solving this whole problem. You can as well solve this whole problem using a very different method without all these elements. So this is what we are going to do. We have t power t equals t power 4. So I can divide each of these by t to the power 4. I will divide this by t power 4. I will divide this by t power 4. So what will happen here is that the t power 4 comes with t power 4. I have t power t divided by t power 4 and this equals 1. So for you to solve this, what you need to do is to consider this other identity. If you have a to the power of n divided by a to the power of m, this equals a power n minus m. So what happens here is that if the bases are the same, you subtract the exponents when you have division sign here. So that means you are going to have t to the power of t minus 4, and this equals 1. So you can easily solve this. You can solve this using the natural log as well. You have ln of t power t minus 4, and this equals ln of 1. Now, like I said earlier on, if you have log a to the power of b, this will give you b times log a. So exactly what will happen here, the t minus 4 here will come behind this natural log. So what you are going to have will be t minus 4 times natural log of t equals natural log of 1. It is worthy to note that the natural log of 1 is 0. So whenever you see natural log of 1, know that it's 0. So this is 0. So at the end, you are going to have two different equations again. You have t minus 4 equals 0, and you also have ln t equals 0. So t minus 4, this is very simple to solve. You take this negative 4 over here, you have t equals 4. So this is our t1. Now, this also is the same solution that we had earlier on. If you want to solve this, you make use of e. You take e to the power of ln t, and this equals e to the power of 0. So right now, the e comes with the ln, you have t equals e power 0, and any number or half of the rest of the power 0 is 1. So from here, you have t equals 1. So at the end, we still have two different solutions, meaning that this equation has two different solutions. Now, the next thing we are going to do will be to check for each of these solutions. Let's test if these values will satisfy this equation. So we have t equals, the first one is 1. We also have t equals 4. And the solution, the equation is, this is t power t equals t power 4. Now, let's consider this first solution when t equals 4. You are going to insert 4 right here for t. You have 4 power 4, and this equals 4 power 4. So what is the value of 4 power 4? 4 power 4, 4 is a perfect square, that is 2 power 2. You have 2 to the power of 2, raised to the power of 4, and this equals 2 to the power of 2, raised to the power of 4. So if you have a power m, raised to the power of m, equals a power n times m. 2 times 4, that is 8. You have 2 power 8, and this equals 2 power 8. So 2 to the power of 8 is 2, 5, 6, because 2 to the power of 5 is 32. So 2 to the power of 8 is 2, 5, 6. And this equals 2, 5, 6. So left hand side equals right hand side. That shows that that particular solution is correct. You can also check if t, when t equals 1, you have t equals 1. You make use of the same equation again. You have t power t equals t power 4. You substitute 1 for t. You have 1 power 1 equals 1 power 4. 1 to the power of 1 is 1 equals 1 to the power of 4 is 1. Left hand side equals right hand side. So that is it guys. Now, that is the end of this video. Thank you and see you again.